fishy folks and happy fry 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 to you hope everyone had a great fishy week i know uh i wasn't really down here that much this week i've been super busy at work i'm going to uh las vegas next week for a business class and i have a legitimate metric poop ton of work to do with meetings coming up and more travel and super busy i'm sure you know what i mean anywho guys you know the drill do me a favor, obliterate the subscription button if you haven't done so already. Boop! The notification bell if you haven't done so already. And of course, check out michaelsfishroom.com. Now, today is an unboxing. This is from my buddy Keith at KJE Aquatics. KJE Aquatics on Facebook is where you should check Keith out. He sells uh, some rare uh, fish, killies. I think he got out of the guppy game. Uh, I'm sure he has cichlids of some sort and lots of plants. Another metric poop ton of plants. Anywho, Keith saw my uh, planted angelfish tank update and said, he immediately messaged me and said, Mike, you need some plants for that bad boy. I'm sending you some plants. And I'm all, Keith, I don't need more plants. And he's all, yeah, you do. What's your address? And I'm all, here's my address. I'll take free stuff. I'm easy. And he was all, well, here's your tracking number. And I'm all, thanks. So this is a big f box of plants. It says fragile on it like a hundred times. And it's only plants. Like if this was my flower horn and I shook it, the flower horn people would go insane. Anyway, let's open it. If you want to get a snack and a beverage, now's your time. Pause it. Go get your snack and beverage. Come back. Press play. I'm not waiting. Got my man knife for safety. I really don't know what's in here. Hopefully he's labeled them, because you know, I'm a dummy when it comes to plants. I mean, I'm a dummy in general, but. By the way, I hope you like my shirt. King and Queen Sickers, my boy Scott and Liz. Let's put the man knife away. Did you see me flip around like five times? KJE Aquatics on Facebook. Now the box is a little wet. And we have the Adirondack Sports page. From December, snowshoe racing. Ooh. All right, we got some packing stuff. So let's check this out. Lots of stuff here. We're just gonna put it over there for now. KJE Aquatics, KJE Aquatics business card. Keith Kalinwoski, I think that's how you say it. Quality charcoal fish and supplies. KJE Aquatics at gmail.com. Packing list. Oh yeah, good. He tells me exactly what it is. So Madagascar lace, there's a word in front of it. Aponagitan, maybe? Crypt spirellus? Crypt when, when did, when did, did, did and then did me? Red clump? Red Reuben sword? Anubis lanceolata potted? Attached to wood, deco, or rock? Italian vowel. So he tells me where it goes, background, or foreground, or midground, or what have you. And uh, you'll notice this reflective bubble wrap. The bubbles don't pop, so it's pretty much useless to me. And then uh, confetti as insulator. That's nice. All right, let's, let's check it out. I'm looking for a heat pack. I don't actually see a heat pack. And it's pretty damn cold, and these guys look pretty good. So this is the Red Reuben Sword. Nice. Put them down over here. Italian vowels. Nice. Cryptocorn when did Wendy red clumps. Nice. Ice cold though. Whoa, this thing is huge. A Ponegeaton Madagascar lace. Quantity one. It's huge! I don't want to throw anything away by accident. This is packed really well. Cryptocorn Spirillus. Three. Well, thank you. Oh, something else. Just kidding. Anubis Lancelotta Potted. Keith, thank you from the cockles of my heart. All right. I think that's it. Let's just double check. 
Yep. So we'll put the packing back in the box for now. All right. I will be planting those and filming that as well. The other thing I got this week, um, I got some Pleco Caves from uh, Pleco Hotels and Accessories the other week, and he sent me some sample of his food, and uh, I got some more food from him. Pleco Supreme Pellets. The guys loved it. They devoured this Pleco food, and so he sent me some more. All natural ingredients ensures proper nutrition, green pea protein, herring meal, kelp meal, wheat, krill meal, blah, blah, blah. Analysis, 39% protein, 6% fat, 5% fiber, 10% moisture. But here's the deal. They loved it. And I don't know if there's anything to do with it, but just before my uh, uh, spawn of the Super Reds, I dropped some of this in. I don't know if that's what triggered it or not, but just saying, put this food in. Boom Pleco Babies. It's like magic. And he also sent me some of this Pleco Supreme Color Pellets. Um, it's in a little Ziploc bag with a sticker. This is in a, a more baggy bag thing. But So that's what I got. Got some new fish to show you in the fish room. Just really some fry. So uh, I'm going to grab the camera. Let's do this. Stand by. Put. Are you standing by or are you sitting? Tell me the truth. All right, fishy folks. These fry in here, there's like five or six or a scoop full, if you will, are red Russian lace guppies that I picked up from the super breeder that I went to visit last weekend. And you saw on Wednesday's video, Doug Gray, he just grabbed a scoop of red Russian lace guppies. And uh, I'm just going to raise them up and breed them and sell them on the website. I hope you guys like them. Red Russian Lace Guppies. And then I also picked up a couple of, uh, of his Champion Black Moscows. Um, I'm keeping them separate from the other line for now until I get some breeding going on. And then I'll, uh, I'll mix them in to cross the genetics. But these guys, at least uh, the female has won a, a bunch of competitions. And if you remember from the video, his... His black Moscows were stunning. There's a female. And there's a female. I think I have three females and a male he gave me. The funny part is he put all these ple all these plecos. They're not plecos, dummy. He put these guppies in a bag and the bag exploded. And then uh, we lost a couple to the floor and we picked them up and they were fine. But then uh, he messages me and says, Mike, I found another female guppy like half an hour later. I'm sure she's not going to make it. Boom, the next day she was alive, so ha-ha. Anyway. All right, fishy folks, I'm going to go put those plants in a tank and show you what's... All right, fishy folks, we're back. It is about six days later, and uh, I planted all the plants that Keith from KJE Aquatic sent me. Don't forget to check out Keith and KJE Aquatics on Facebook. KJE Aquatics is the name, one word. And so a couple things have gone on in this tank actually. It appears that the um, gold marble, which sort of looks like a koi, but I don't think she's a koi. That big one is a female. And that smoky that's next to the female, that one that just swam in front, that's the male. It appears they are a pair. They, uh, they laid some eggs on one of the um, intake tubes for the filters. At that point, the intake tube wasn't on. I'm sorry, the filter wasn't on. So it was just a place for them to lay, for them to lay eggs. Uh, within 24 hours, all the eggs were gone, but they were being fierce protective parents running off every fish that came to that half of the tank. So I'm going on a business trip, a week-long business trip, but when I get back, I will be putting a piece of slate in the tank, and the next time they lay eggs, I'll pull them and try to artificially rear them. So we can get some more angel babies, we'll see. Of course, that's gonna mean baby brine shrimp and yada, 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 so we'll see. Another interesting tidbit about this tank is if you look 
in the corner right right there you can see an x-wing fighter from the last jedi uh it's a japanese only uh figure or toy i don't know what you'd call it and you build it it's a little model i guess you build it um and i had a bunch of them on top of the tank i'll show you like like that stormtrooper right there uh, i had a bunch on top of the tank and i was doing some work and one must have fallen in and i didn't even notice so there's a little star wars uh tidbit for you anyway um keith gave me a bunch of really nice plants the coolest is this madagascar lace you can see that big angel in front of it and uh if you look at the top of the tank it's bloomed it actually came in that way see if we can yeah see that it's a purple you can't really see now but it's a nice purple flower it's pretty cool um everything else is sort of mixed in to the tank and you know how good i am with identifying plants so i can't even tell you what's what um, but i really appreciate the plants they look great they came in super healthy and uh, there are a lot of plants in this tank um I think one of the ones he gave me is this little red sword in the front. Um, it's doing pretty well. I'm surprised things haven't melted yet, to be honest. But uh, that's what happens when you buy good quality plants. So that's about it for the update on the planted angelfish tank. You can see my black phantom tetras are swimming around nice. The uh, albino quarries are doing well. If I ever really get motivated, I will probably take those albino quarries out and get some uh, some nicer quarries. Not a big fan of the albino quarries. I bought them uh, to resell, and uh, another fish in the tank got sick, so I didn't want to sell them. This was like six, eight months ago, and they were really small. But now they've grown, and you know they do their job. They eat the stuff on the bottom. They're pretty cool. They like to sit all together, which is nice. You can see that <laughs> that big angel just is eating a green bean, which uh, I put in there for the two plecos, two or three plecos. Oh, you can hear Indy crying. He wants to go outside and play in the snow. That's my cue, guys. Hope everyone has a great day. And uh, don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. And coming up, exciting news. Huh? Fishy folks and happy fry 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 to you. Hope everyone had a get red. Hi fishy folks and happy fry 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 to you. Hope everyone had a great freshy week. I know I've been busy as heck since I've been back to work and I've got a lot of traveling go coming up, going, coming, coming, going soon. Hi fishy folks and happy fry fry friday to you. I have an itch. Yeah. All right, fishy folks, these little guys are um, red Russian lace fry that I picked up from that crappy Nissan driver, Doug Gray. He's the guy that, uh, the Pleco breeder, I lied. Let me, let me do this again, because I'm an idiot. All right, fishy folks, these little guys, the little fry in this, 20 gallon tank, you can see one swimming right there in the middle. See him? No, because uh, I suck. Yeah. Alright, fishy folks, these little guys are fry that I got from Super Breeder Doug Gray, the IFGA. Guppy winner. Why he didn't really win guppies? I don't. I don't know why I said that.